Good morning everybody and welcome back to another vlog. Today is my birthday vlog. I turned 28 today. It just sounds so depressing. I need to think happy that I'm not 30 yet. That's fine. So yeah, I turned 28 today. It's my birthday. I got up around nine o'clock and I opened all my cards that sent from the UK. I had a few parcels as well. I had a few presents from people that live over here. And I just had a really nice and slow morning with a coffee. Jake got me some flowers, which was super cute of him. We are now off for breakfast. We're actually in quite a rush because we decided to go for breakfast about 10 minutes ago. And breakfast finishes at 10.30 and it's 10.20. So we're in a bit of a rush. We're hopefully going to make to it to McDonald's, but if not, we'll have to go to Tim's. I think there's near enough us all day or something. But we'll keep you updated. Today we were actually supposed to go to Toronto Zoo, but the weather is very overcast. And I don't want to go to a zoo when it's raining because I love the zoo and I don't want to be walking around wet and cold. So I think we might be heading to a Niagara Parks excursion. So it's a bit like um, when we went on the boat, the Hornblower. There's also the White Walk. There's also Journey Behind the Falls. And there's also a new one that's just opened. It's the Tunnel of the Power Station. So yeah, we're gonna be doing one of those today. Maybe even pop to the cinema, go out for some food tonight. We're just gonna take it really chilled and just see what happens. Okay, so we are here at A&W. We were decided against McDonald's and did A&W because we don't come to A&W for breakfast ever. So thought we would treat ourselves. I'm not sure what's on the menu here. So let's have a little look. So look at the choices of stuff for breakfast. I ended up having the pancakes with bacon and hash brown, but look at that like full English, but it's not a full English, it's an all Canadian, <laughs> um, but it doesn't have beans. Like I was like saying to Jake, if that was home, that would have beans with it. So yeah, we get to sit down here and it gets delivered to you. Let's cheers to my birthday with orange juice. <laughs> cheers. <laughs> I absolutely love a and It makes me feel like I'm in like a diner. You can actually have these in frosted glasses, which is glasses they put in the freezer. But last time I had it, it tastes like root beer because like that's like the number one drink here. So I was like, go for a takeout cup, it's safe. But yeah, we get to sit in it, wait for it. <laughs> Here's our meal while our breakfast is on trays. <laughs> I feel proper American. I don't know why. Even I'm in Canada, but you know what I mean. And I don't know what this is. This is cream. This is breakfast syrup. Oh my God. Hash brown. Butter. What is it? Is that salted butter? It's salted butter? Yeah. Oh, nice. There's something about maple syrup and hash browns. But anyway, we're going to enjoy this. I'm just waiting for my bacon though. <laughs> I think it's safe to say we enjoyed our breakfast. Jake helped me finish my pancakes. I didn't finish them all. <laughs> but that was so good, wasn't it, Jake? Oh, so good. So let's go to the falls now. Okay, so we've just parked up at the Niagara Parks where we always uh, park. We have like a year long parking pass that costs like $40 or something. If you live in the area, it's so much cheaper to get that than pay for parking every time you come to the falls. So yeah, we've just parked up. We haven't got our tickets yet. Just because it's a new tour and I don't know what it's called and the website there's so many tours So we think we're gonna go on the new one that goes on the tunnel underneath the falls uh, Which is gonna be really cool and exciting because um, not, We haven't done it yet. So yeah, we're just gonna walk down. It's a bit more chillier today. Well, it's not cold It's still like 24 degrees, but For us who's been used to like 40 degrees 30 degrees. It is pretty cold so yeah, we're just gonna walk down and get the tickets and then find out where you need to go because we literally have no idea. Obviously the falls looks so busy because it's the summer holidays and it's only 11.30, which is just crazy. So yeah, we're gonna walk down and get some tickets. I'll let you know how much the price is and where you have to go because I know so many people are wanting to do this new tour. So yeah, let's go. Okay, this is like one of my favorite views when you park down the end of Niagara Falls and you're walking towards the busy section. Like I just love, I love this view. We're just walking down to get tickets now, just at the best area. We also love this drop bit just before the falls drop. The water looks so clear. We're so lucky to live here, aren't we? So we just went to the ticket booth uh, just opposite the falls because inside was so busy. And we have our tickets just here. They worked out to be $63 with tax. So that sounds about right because the website was $28. So that sounds about right. So yeah, they're called the NP Power Station. 
So, and then you apparently have to cross over, turn left, and it goes straight into it. And the sun is just coming out now, which is good, because apparently you can get wet down here. So, um, yeah, let's walk towards it. Okay, so this is us walking up to the Niagara Parks power station, and it's the new excursion, the tunnel, which is what we're going on. Um, we don't know what to expect. We're really excited because it's something new that we haven't done before, and this is only just opened. So everything in here. Yeah, and hopefully we can find a bit more history behind this whole Niagara Falls section. We might find out why they call the electric bill the water bill. Oh yeah, oh yeah, guys. If you don't know. The hydro bill here in Canada is your electric bill. Your electric bill. bill. <laughs> like, what, do you call your, what do you call your water bill? Your power bill. Like when it first came in, hydro, we we're like, oh, our water bill comes in. And I think it was someone that worked in our apartment was like, no, that's your electric bill. We're like, sorry, what? <laughs> but yeah, look how cool this is. Let's see what that is. It says that there's a light show in the evenings here too. That would probably be quite cool. I love it. Oh, seagulls are going to kill us. Um, this building's beautiful, isn't it? Okay, so they've just let us know that the only toilets are to the left. When you go downstairs, there's um, no toilets. Pardon? Oh my goodness. Of course, Jake spots the tools first. It's a wrench board, babe. <laughs> oh God, you're going to want to wrench that big now. How would you even turn that by yourself? <laughs> God, it's hot in here, isn't it? Okay, we're heading to the elevator, the lift, to go down. And how, babe, do you remember how far down they said? Oh, do you need a toilet? Okay. I can't remember how far it said that you go down. Oh, 180 feet down below. No going back now, Jake. <laughs> hey, this is quite cool. It's a glass so, elevator. As we descend, you'll be able to see parts of the power station through both sides of the elevator. If you just quickly look through these doors here, you can see the pen stop. That's the big tube that held all the water, and all that water spun the turbine. If you look out the, those back doors, you can see all the different floors of the power station. That cylinder structure you see in the middle would spin, which would cause those big blue generators upstairs to spin, which is how they produce the hydroelectricity. What you're seeing around you is what is underneath every single blue generator upstairs. So there are 11 sets throughout this whole building. Okay, so we made it down. Oh my God, this is amazing. What the hell? So we are now under the falls, Jake. This is so weird. Jake, there's water coming out of the hole. Yeah. Guys, I don't know if you guys can see this, but there's water coming out the hole. This is incredible. We have built up and that, it's not straight and that. Yeah. It's nice and cool down here compared to upstairs as well, isn't it? This is actually insane. No, actually, I'll the open this. Double check here. Okay, there's this bit that says where you are and what's above you. So right now, we're just on top of the falls parking. <laughs> this is insane. I just need to touch real brick again. Nothing's brick anymore, is it? Like in Canada, there's not much like brick like this. Like our homes are made out of brick. Yeah, it's all wood here. I go to yeah. and buy a house. And then they charge you a million dollars for that house. <laughs> I love the lights and stuff. And it looks like they've done all this path brand new too. Okay, I think we're nearly there because we can see the light at the end of the tunnel. Um, how long would you say that walk was? About five minutes? It's a nice walk. Like if you do this in the summer, it's actually really refreshing because it's so cool down here. I bet it's freezing in the winter. Yeah, in the winter I couldn't even imagine. It's cold now. So yeah, I can hear like people screaming and stuff. So the water must be 
just there and we've never seen the falls from this angle obviously we've seen it from the bow and then from the viewing deck upstairs and over at new york but we've never seen it from down at this angle oh my god i'm so excited okay so we're getting our ponchos let's get our ponchos oh my grandma will be stuffing these in her bag <laughs> Youth adult. Let's get our ponchos. They're nice and yellow. Just turn it around. <laughs> I've got my poncho on and I'm ready to see the falls. Like minions, and there's the falls. We can wait to get to the front. <laughs> oh, god, you get wet the closer you go, isn't it? This is amazing, guys. We've just got out of the power station. Oh, my god, the humidity is actually disgusting. Like, it is so hot. Um, I'm actually kind of glad we didn't go to the zoo today because it's so muggy. Um, anyway, verdict of the power station. It was so good. Like, the top floor, you can have a, tide, um, a guided tour, which would have been quite good to learn all about it. But, like, seeing all of the, like, turbines and stuff was awesome but the best bit has to be the walk through the cave like i even think that's better than the viewing point because it's honestly like something that you don't get to do in life is just walk through like this cave that's made hundreds and hundreds of years ago a hundred years ago and like there's water coming through it like it's so awesome isn't it yeah. like i highly recommend it anyway to do it it's just like an experience thing to do like once you've done it you can tick it off you don't need to do it again but yeah so we are super hot right now so we're gonna go get ourselves like a cold drink or something i really fancy a slurpee but i also need a coffee so i don't know which one to get and then we're gonna go to costco to look at the tickets for the cinema apparently you can get a cheaper ticket pass for the cinema um as we might go watch a movie but anyway we'll keep you updated okay so we're just stopping off at tim hortons to get some energy i need a coffee in my life I'm so, I feel so tired after that walk, I don't know why. What drink are you going to go for? I think I'm going to go for an ice cap. So I got an ice cap and Jake got a coffee and they upgraded him to a free large coffee. I they thought it was mine as well and they're like, oh we've upgraded your drink and I was like, that's Jake's. But anyway, I only need a medium look at the size of it, it's so good. If you haven't tried an ice cap and you live in Canada, you need to try it. Let me know, English people, if it's on the English menu. But anyway, we're on our way home now. We feel very sloppy and very tired. And then we'll think of the next step from there. Okay, so we are going out for my birthday dinner now. We are going to a place called East. And it's a place where robots deliver your food, which is quite cool. Um, the food is absolutely incredible. It is a bit pricey uh, for an all-you-can-eat like food place, but the food is really high quanti like quality, and you don't get up to get it. It's like table service with a robot. So yeah, I'll show you guys what we get. So this is the restaurant we're going to. It's just off of Lundy's Lane. The music inside is super loud, so I'm just gonna have to do a food montage. 
So for our starter, we ordered edamame, crispy crab routons, shrimp tempura, crab meat tempura. Then you hit, your server is coming. <laughs> Cheers. Cheers. Here comes the robot. Is this one ours? Here's the robot. It's not Alan. Behind us have got look. So this is the starter, edamame, crabs, sticks and moutons. This was amazing by the way. Okay, so these are some mains, general tau, sweet and sour and beef teriyaki. This meat is so tender. I can't get it up. Oh my god. Incredible. So I'm going to eat now, I'm going to enjoy and I'll tell you about it at the end. I am well and truly stuffed to you. Yeah. It was so good. Yeah, it's a little bit more pricey than other ones. Um, it works out. You're, if you come for lunchtime, it's $30 each, uh, which isn't bad. And then the evening is $40 each. But honestly, it's so worth it. You get like steak, pork belly. Oh, yeah, so good. But anyway, I'm going to end my birthday vlog here because it's no longer my birthday and I've got a work, a work week, a week full of work. So I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, make sure you hit the thumbs up. If you're new here, I'd love you to hit subscribe and I'll see you on my next video.